Hello everyone. Welcome back to softwaretestinghelp.com. This is Gayatri Subramanyam back again. We have studied the DevOps part 1 tutorial in our last session. Now let's go through the part 2 of demystifying DevOps. Let's do a quick recap of part 1. This is what we covered in part 1. What is DevOps? DevOps is a culture in the organization to focus on delivering value to customer through a constant collaboration of development, operations and rest of the stakeholders. What is not DevOps? DevOps is not a licensed or open source product, neither a specification nor a standard. What is the benefit of DevOps? DevOps brings high quality delivery, faster delivery, frequent deployments, small deployments, less failure rates in production, etc. What are the practices of DevOps? The DevOps practices are continuous integration, test automation, continuous deployment, in infrastructure as a code, configuration management, release management and application performance monitoring. What are the habits of DevOps? The DevOps habits are management of technical debt, focus on delivering value to customer, life cycle culture, team autonomy, managing infrastructure as a flexible resource, hypothesis driven development and metrics from the production. And lastly, what are the key metrics of DevOps? Agility and reliability are the key focus metrics of DevOps. So what do we learn in part two? In this part of the lecture, let's learn the following. What are the practices of DevOps which are developed based on the agile principles and how were these objectives of DevOps achieved by practicing these principles? In part one, we kept on saying DevOps as nothing but collaboration. So let's understand what is this actually collaboration is all about and how does this uh, DevOps practices helps to develop the collaboration between development and operations in achieving its objectives. Also in this part, let's understand the importance of key elements of DevOps like source control, automation and delivery of small increments. There are few other elements like continuous integration, continuous testing, continuous delivery and application monitoring which we will study it in the next part. Practices of DevOps. As I said earlier, DevOps practices are mainly based on the Agile principles and practices. Out of the 12 Agile principles, these four are the important ones which directly applies to DevOps. So it's better to refresh these Agile manifesto which applies to DevOps functions. I'm not going to go in detail of these. Let's quickly read out them. <coughs> Individuals and interactions over processes and tools, working software over comprehensive documentation, customer collaboration over contract negotiation, responding to change over following a plan. Based on these agile principles, DevOps has developed certain principles and practices. Let's understand what are they. I'm going to use whiteboard to list them out. The first one is value to customer. Bring value to the customer by delivering smaller, frequent and continuous deployment of the software. And number two is deliver working software. Deliver working software in a shorter time scale. Customer is not going to look at the great design that we make or a fantastic architecture or even a plan or a strategy that we make in order to develop the software without delivering a working software to them. So all that they want is a working software. And number third is support changes. 
support changes to the requirements whenever the customer wants based on the market trend. This is very, very important for the customer. A software development methodology should be flexible enough to handle any changes asked by the customer at any point of time and deliver them with ease and comfort. Next one is collaborate. Collaborate and work together with business constantly to make the software right first time. And the fifth one is team motivation. Agile and DevOps both equally gives lot of importance to the team and the people more than anything else. So DevOps pr principle says motivate the team, give freedom to them, provide the support required to them whenever they are in need, develop trust in them to get the work delivered. We all know if the work is done by them, by any individual out of the volunteer interest, the quality will be definitely good instead of getting it done forcibly by them under pressure. Also, in, it, in addition to the collaboration, Agile suggests the face-to-face -face communication within the development team. So, maximize the face-to-face -face communication via stand-up meetings, review meetings, etc. This develops the team spirits and helps in motivating the team and the development of healthy competition amongst the team members. So, the next one is deliver faster and quicker faster and quicker. Another key aspect of DevOps is to deliver faster and quicker. We know during Agile practice, Scrum, Lean, Kanban or whatever, faster was referring to a delivery over a period of few weeks to a few months. Now it has changed with DevOps to over a couple of hours. So quicker delivery in DevOps refers to delivery over few hours. Organizations like Amazon, Flipkart, Mintra, Google, etc. makes updates to their software and makes the releases over a period of few hours. That is the speed and the quality turnout expected from those who are practicing the DevOps. Hence, DevOps processes, habits and practices are so strong that it enables the team to work together to achieve this. So, we can quickly, uh, uh, clearly and quickly say that all of these DevOps theories and practices revolves around the basic Agile principles. I can say an extension to them. Now, how are the DevOps objectives achieved? Here, what we need to look at them, look at and learn is that uh, what one should do on daily basis, practice and habituate to in order to achieve the DevOps objectives. It's not just enough that one person or a few members in the team who should practice these. Each and everyone in the team, both development and operation, needs to strictly adopt these practices and make it as BAU, business as usual, and then it becomes everyone's habit in the team to practice it repeatedly. So, the success of DevOps purely depends on how seriously these practices are followed by each and everyone in the team. And no doubt, success is for sure if these practices are religiously followed. We have already learned the best practices and habits of DevOps in our part 1 lecture which enables the team to achieve DevOps culture. So, there is no loss to repeat as many times as possible in order to achieve the DevOps objectives. As we know, DevOps objective is to focus on bringing value to customer through smaller deployments, faster deployments and continuous deployments. Let's understand what do we need to do in DevOps practice to achieve this over and above practicing the Agile practices. <clears throat> First one is, as we already know, collaboration. Collaboration that we need to have with all the stakeholders so that every piece of information is available to the entire team and is kept in mind while developing the software. To give a simple example, it could be a small change in the default environment configuration that the operations team is planning to make. And this, and this particular information should be passed on to all the team members so that 
each one in the team can take care of the impact of the of this particular change wherever it is applicable like developers take care while coding testers ensure that the latest update made in the environment configuration is tested as against older one so basically collaboration is that team has to come together and work together to solve the problem be it a design problem architecture problem testing or deployment or application performance we will understand more about collaboration in a short while technical debt technical debt needs to be always minimized as much as possible continuous attention to details and excellence and focus on customer needs each and every phase of the program is very important and if neglected and not attended on time will lead to quality issues in the later stage hence paying attention to details excellence and focusing continuously on customer needs is very important and no compromise at any stage for anything other than the says entertained we know the importance of every aspect of software development life cycle and its impact if not given attention so focusing on best architecture requirements design testing and all of them are very important and no compromise at any stage of sdlc phases well we have already learnt about the importance of gathering metrics from live and continuously working on uh, working on them to improve them so uh, this completes uh, uh, you know uh, block 1 of the part 2 in the coming video we will learn about the importance of few practices of devops like source control automation and delivery of small increments of value thank you